Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to configure the delimiters in KTEC for inline mathematics. Let us open our VS Code. In our last tutorial, we have seen how to incorporate KTEC in our website. So in this video, we will know how to write inline mathematics in using KTEC. Let me type some lorem text. According to the KTEX documentation, KTEX expects backslash for parenthesis and then backslash parenthesis. In between, it expects us to type the mathematics for the inline mathematics. What do I mean by that? If I save it, this integration looks like this. If I type after this, if I type one lorem text it looks like this so this is called inline mathematics but latex users are very often uses single dollar in this video we will define we will discuss about how to discuss how to incorporate that in our options so here in this video i'm going to use this script which runs every time whenever the document is loaded this function will be fired up and render math environment will work so in this i am going to type something called delimiters delimiters is an array of dictionaries so the dictionary contains left equal to or left colon within parenthesis single dollar comma right colon within parenthesis single dollar the other option is display equal to display colon false so if i do this if i type here the same thing in dollars so slash int f of x dx then if you go to your website now it did not work why yeah, there's a spelling mistake delimiters is m-i-t-e-r-s now if you see yes it worked so now you can see that actually the old one whatever we have typed is not working we can configure that also for the safety reason let me copy this and put a comma and paste it and over here just type slash def bracket and slash right bracket usually this back stick has to be escaped by one more back stick if you compile if you save this and if you see this now it will work that's it suppose if i want a begin equation i can actually define it in this manner as i said back tick has to be escaped with one more back tick begin equation comma right double back tick end equation and display now this time let me keep it in the display so with this command what we can do is now we can type let me put one more bracket inside some lorem text inside this bracket i will type slash begin equation slash end equation now you can type whatever you want so sum n equal to one to infinity a n now if you sum if you save it then if you see you get this so now if you use your double dollar same thing sum n equal to 1 to infinity v n if you come and see it doesn't work because this 
standard double dollar has been rewritten by begin equation end equation so we will define that also over here comma open up the dictionary left colon not colon single quote double dollar comma right colon double dollar display is true so what are we actually saying is if you have double dollar in the left double dollar in the right and display equal to true then treat this equation as a display style equation that's it now if you save this and refresh your web page it should work i think the mistake is for some reason i have to define this things first the proper commas everywhere yes for some reason i have to define the display style true equal to first then later false i don't know how the stock documentation is working now if you compile now if you save this works that's it that's it for this video the next video we will see how to type matrices and all.